Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tablets for Me, and today we're going to take a look at a solar panel uh, that can be used to charge any of your electronic devices. Let's check it out. Now we reviewed several solar, solar panels on the channel before. Uh, this happens to be probably one of the uh, most powerful panels that we've reviewed to date. This is going to deliver up to 24 watts of um, charging power based on your uh, the sunlight that you're getting. A um, couple things that we'll look at. Let's take a look, look at in the back right here. Uh, so this is using some high efficiency um, solar cells. Uh, it does have uh, intelligent charging uh, capability. So when you plug in your device, it's going to know if it's an Android phone or a uh, Apple device and provide the current appropriate for it. Uh, it does uh, provide um, you know fast charging where appropriate, right? Uh, based on that intelligence. Now let's not confuse this. It's not Qualcomm. Uh, 3.0 or 2.0 compatible, but it's going to charge at the fastest possible rate based on that intelligence that it has in that chip. Um, it does support two uh, USB ports with a maximum of 3.3 amps um, as it's charging um, across those ports. Um, as far as the overcurrent and voltage correction, you don't have to worry about that. It's got it covered, and it's going to charge a variety of devices, not just mobile phones, but it could uh, charge also tablets as well. And it's, Now, the panel itself is relatively compact. If you take a look at here on the side, it's roughly an inch thick because it has so many panels to give you that higher um, output, the 24 watts. Um, it does have several, I would say, little hooks here. One right here where you can actually connect this to a backpack or if you're in a tent type situation you could hook this on the side of your tent and then as you open it up you uh, become uh, very aware or start to appreciate um, all the panels that are uh, available to capture all the sunlight. You also have more of these little areas where you can actually hook um, and connect the panel so that it's open and in the right angle to uh, connect uh, or get the most sunlight. Now on this side, we'll flip this around for a second, what you'll find is it has a little pouch area. I like these pouches because you can actually store uh, the, let's say, um, power cables here. Uh, sometimes when I'm charging a device, what I do is I'll put the device in here as well and keep it out of the sun, like in this mo this fashion here. Uh, and then in the inside, if you take a closer look, you'll find that you have those two uh, USB charging ports that are going to be intelligent and going to automatically charge at the appropriate rate to get the maximum amount of power uh, from the solar panels to your device. So in my home today we have a very sunny day so you can see I have the panel uh, completely exposed and if we go here for a second we'll see if it'll come out on video because it's uh, too bright outside but the LED is on indicating that we're getting um, current being uh, created uh, via the panels. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to uh, plug in this meter so to see what kind of power we're getting out of the, the panels and then charge a note or actually in this case a Samsung Galaxy S7 uh, Edge and then we'll see how everything works. So you can see once again the panel is out in complete sunlight and then as we go over here to this um, meter you'll notice that uh, we're getting a decent charge 5.20 uh, volts. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plug in a uh, phone to see what kind of power is being distributed to the phone. So here we have the um, S7 Edge um, actually connected to the panel. You can see that we're still getting some really healthy current being generated by the panel. And the output is of 1.79 amps going to the uh, S7 Edge, which uh, is very, I would say, uh, equivalent to plugging it into an electrical outlet in your home, depending on the type of charger that you have. Now keep in mind that this is not a Qualcomm fast charger, uh, so it is going to provide as much power as the phone demands based on the technology on the phone and also the intelligent charging technology in the panel. So this concludes our review of the 1x1 24 watt solar charging solution. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.